Well, Hamburg in the white shorts have played exactly 100 ties in European competition and have reached three finals in the last six seasons, underlining the size of the test facing Southampton tonight. Southampton playing from left to right in the black shorts. This is Soler. Hamburg knowing that the goalless first leg places the emphasis firmly on them to come forward tonight. And they're doing so immediately with Schroeder. Jordan, who only just passed a fitness test in training this morning on an injured knee. And this is Wright. Mills. Crowd of around 35 to 40,000 here in the Box Park Stadium. And a mild evening, the pitch in perfect condition. Williams for Southampton. Jordan, good layoff for Moran. Wallace on the left. And Jakob's taking his time and almost running into trouble with Moran harassing him. Right. And problems here for Southampton with Soler arriving quickly in the box. Magat there too. And that was a vital foot by Nicky Mills. Dennis. Whitlock. Vital that Southampton take the sting out of Hamburg in these opening minutes and quieten the crowd. The tactics performed by most of Britain's more successful European teams in recent years. And that's why Williams went back towards his own goal and Mickey Mills then. Williams. This is Jordan. Mills. Moran in an unusually deep position for him. Forced there by Weymeyer. Right. Tried to play a one-two with Jordan. And he's very deep inside the Hamburg half. Kaltz, Wittka, the long ball by Schroeder, controlled by McGee, the ball through to Malewski, a fine shot by Stefan, good build up by Hamburg, with McGee, important in the early stages a good layoff in field the ball played on and the shot from Stefan flashing just wide of Shilton's upright side and right in the center and it's hit the bar how unlucky well Southampton could well have had a goal then with only 11 minutes of the game gone Mills corner floated over to the far post the downward header by Jordan and Wright was in there before the defender to smack his header against the crossbar and Southampton so unlucky not to score an early goal Well, that will improve Southampton's confidence in this difficult game, no end. And the goalkeeper, Stein, clearly beaten as Wright's header hit the crossbar.
Dennis with plenty of time. Soler. Back it goes to Couch. Good looking cross. Whitlock's clearance. Here's Soler. Woodcut. Good challenge by Wallace. Schroeder. Oh, a good little ball by McGee. Stefan forward to Soler. Oh, it should have been an equaler. It should have been a goal, I should say. We should have had a goal at either end. Schroeder coming up from the back was inches away from making contact. That ball slid across the face of the Southampton penalty area here by Soler, drawing the defenders in towards him. And as Schroeder came in, look how close he was to making contact. Jakobs. Malewski. Weimar. Williams for Southampton. Nearly 18 minutes gone. Hamburg nil, Southampton nil. Throwed up, slips, Baker. And Magat doing the marking job on Baker. The Baker was brought into the Southampton side to do on him. He's still there. Exciting looking player in full flow. And McGee running into the open space. And the tackle by Dennis sends McGee spinning. But the referee, quite rightly in my opinion, allowing play to continue. McGee spinning in the penalty area under Dennis's challenge, but the referee, who is perfectly placed to see the tackle, says no free kick, no penalty. Jakobs. And Moran going in a little high. Oh, shot moving to that. Late shot by Budka, almost catching the England goalkeeper by surprise. It was certainly hit with some power. And has Southampton hesitated to make a challenge? Chilton clawing across and seeing the ball strike the upright. And a let off really for Southampton. And very early substitution being made by Hamburg, presumably an injury which was kept secret because with only, uh, what, 26 minutes gone, it seems uh, strange to say the least that they should have made a tactical substitution at this early stage. Malewski has gone off and Von Hasen has taken his place, number 12. Jordan just got a touch on to Moran. Jordan again. Mills. Baker let it run. Williams behind him. Mills. A lazy sort of ball, but it's reached its target. And here's Williams through. And Moran there too. And what a fine turn. And still Wallace in the middle. But in the end, all he could do was turn the ball onto the top of the Hamburg goal. And Moran as Williams made the dummy run on the other side, darting into the space. And there looked possibilities for Southampton because Wallace was on the far post, but he'd just run out of room to make a telling cross. Here's Mills. Gordon. 
Mike coming forward. Wallace. The cross aimed at Jordan, who reaches it too. Although climbed on the uh, shoulders of Jacobs. The ball in the net, but of course the referee's whistle had gone long before that. Free kick against Jordan. Soler for Hamburg. Roda. Oh, and substitute Von Hasten found himself in the clear because of confusion for a moment between Williams and Mills and Shilton doing well. The two Southampton defenders got themselves in a bit of a tangle here, and as the ball ran through, Von Hasten didn't expect to receive it, momentarily delayed, and Shilton deflected it wide with his legs. It was over on the far post, so that was an important ball for Wright to win. But here's Kaltz. Stefan. Kaltz again. Good looking cross that was. McGee was nearly there. Von Hasten. And a spectacular effort. But always travelling way over that Southampton crossbar. What a fine ball it was in from the right, though, by Kaltz. And Von Hasten with a spectacular shot but well over in the dying moments of the first half foul for the uh, pushing by Moran on Vemaya Schroeder say the two front men for Southampton Moran and Jordan have worked tirelessly in trying to stem the flow of attacks that have begun from the back for Hamburg here's Von Hasen Weymeyer's cross blocked again by Moran underlining the point Nice cross, but not a Hamburg man within 10 to 15 yards of it. Whitlock for Southampton. Moran did well. Williams will go back, I'm sure, to Shilton. We could still, but right, realizing that we have only seconds remaining in this first half, finding Wallace on the left. Eventually it did find its target. Southampton knowing it's vital they hold out for these few remaining seconds of the first 45 minutes. Challenged by Dennis. Stefan unable to control it. Wallace. And that's half time. They had their moments when they might have scored, did Hamburg, but so too did Southampton with that right header against the bar. The half-time score, Hamburg nil, Southampton nil. Peter Shilton, who's made a couple of very important saves for Southampton tonight. And a reminder that if the score stays at nil-nil, then we would have extra time. Nil-nil, in fact, the only score after 90 minutes that could produce extra time. The score by... Any other margin would mean Southampton going through on the away goals ruling. Schroeder then for Hamburg, whose forward runs caused a number of problems in the first half. Williams clearance. Weymeyer. Right's clearance. Whitlock helps it forward. Schroeder. He's 
decent looking ball down the line but Southampton have in the main defended well tonight on Hastings header forward McGee's in the box and finally it's Holmes who clears Southampton's penalty area Again, right, very, very sound. The shouts from the crowd, what they felt was a dangerous clearance. And the referee was quite happy with it. Stefan. That. Counts. Good ball for Schroeder. Soler's header. Holmes is in there. And Holmes, at the second opportunity, got it clear. And certainly a moment of danger then for Southampton and Baker beaten. But here's Wright. And the pressure from McGee. Mills given away to Weymeyer Soler beaten by Whitlock this is Kaltz and Holmes biding his time well then but Vukka's layoff still effective and again the cross which Shilton beats out and Williams just calming things down again the crucial moment forward by Wallace but here's Stefan Soler takes over Kaltz Schroeder Weymeyer on the left all 11 Southampton players inside their own half and that's a foul no the referee says play on and here's Soler Shilton again was so quick to react that Soler was unable to steady himself and gain the pro proper balance needed to make the shot effective. But Southampton was split then. And Shilton to their rescue again. Bernd Schumann, a forward, will be the player to come on. Here he is, number 13, and it's uh, Stefan who goes off. So both substitutions have been made by Hamburg. Southampton as yet haven't used any of theirs. Helps his corner. The flick away by Jordan. Soler doing well because Baker was breaking very quickly. Here's Weymeyer. Magat. Moran intercepted. Mills a little slow perhaps. Under pressure from Magat. Jacobs is Soler. Kaltz. The new substitute, Schumann, gets his first touch. Whitlock's clearance. Woodcut. Soler. Kaltz. Magat. Magat doing well to make the space. What a brilliant effort and a magnificent save by Shilton. The first time that Magat has shaken off his marker, Baker. And what a spectacular effort he produced. A beautiful left foot shot. Heading for the top corner. Magnificent save by Shilton. Helps his kick, Von Hasen on the far post, turns it back, and the shot deflected, Von Hasen again, and there's Shilton again. What a very good game he's had, Magat. Von Hasen once more, twisting and turning the defenders, and goes down and it's a penalty. 
Mills and Holmes, I think it was, or Wright. Wright, in fact, the two Southampton players involved in that challenge on Von Hasten, who twisted away from them. And as they went in, the referee said, penalty. So, Peter Shilton, who's been in marvellous form in this match, now faces Manny Kaltz from the penalty spot. Kaltz, this vastly experienced West German international, has given Hamburg the lead. Hamburg 1, Southampton 0. And in a sense, Southampton were defending so well, it's no surprise that it had to take a penalty to temporarily, anyway, end their resistance. The kick struck with the confidence of a player who's taken many before in important games, and Shilton well beaten for once. And some of the Southampton fans reacting angrily, that's an unpleasant sight. There we are, the final five minutes. And Lou Chatterley, the Southampton coach, uh, being spoken to by the referee as he came to the touchline. Southampton still, of course, haven't used either of their substitutes. They're allowed two. Hamburg have used both of theirs. Holmes, forward by Whitlock. Moran climbing, but here's Magat. Mills beats Von Hasten. Williams. Well, Holmes couldn't control it, but fortunately, Whitlock was covering the space well. Had a couple of substitutes warming up for some time now, but still not used them. Schumann's header, not a good one, straight to Williams. And so little room there in midfield, beautifully illustrated by the fact that Holmes and Moran actually collided. And Holmes brings down Kaltz. Only four minutes to go. Play forward for Soler. He could have finished it off then, but hesitated. And no wonder, because when Peter Shilton's coming at you at that speed, it's a pretty awesome sight. And Shilton, again, from his speed off the line, diverts danger. Well, for so much of this match, Southampton's tactics worked. They had plenty of close shaves in the first half and early in the second when it looked as though they might be holding on. Hamburg won that penalty and Kaltz's kick separates the sides in the final three minutes. Jordan's header and the referee gives offside against Wallace. which way to go Whitlock clear good clearance too Holmes Williams went in with the boot high little touch on by McGee to Von Hasten Mills is there Hasten barging Baker off the ball. And only a couple of minutes of normal time remaining now. 
Hulse is clearance. Wright giving it straight to Soler. And Von Hasten is in the clear. And even he can't finish. Well, once again, Shilton made the angle more difficult. But quite honestly, he had so much time then, Von Hasten, that the game should have been wrapped up lock, stock and barrel. Look how clear he was. But credit to Shilton for narrowing the angle. Oh, what a clumsy mistake that was by the goalkeeper. He tried to play it short to Schroeder and mishit it. Williams now, well, you can see how far forward he is. Just out of the picture, almost. There he is, inside the Hamburg penalty area. Because we're into the final 60 seconds. Just whatever the referee decides to add. Jordan clear for a moment, but Jacobs quickly closes down the space. But here's Dennis. And again, Hamburg's captain saves them. Von Hasen. Soler. McGee in the centre. And that's it now. It's 2-0, and Southampton's brave fight is over. It was inevitable, really. There was so much space due to the fact that Southampton had pushed so many players forward. And when the cross came in from Soler, the header was perfectly placed wide of Shilton. And how ironic that a British footballer should hammer the final nail into the British team's coffin. Mark McGee gets his third goal since arriving at Hamburg from Aberdeen and there's not even time to kick off again well Southampton cannot complain because territorially Hamburg had so much of the ball so much of the play so many openings it was only the brilliance of Peter Shilton in the end that kept the score down Hamburg 2 Southampton 0